We are on the record at 2.02 p.m. This is the remote non-stenographic video deposition of Dr. George Wharton taken in the matter of Margarito Pacheco Hernandez and Oliver Garcia Pacheco versus Jason Williams, BMC East LLC, BMC West LLC, and Nicholas P. Pacheco. Cause number 2018-05503. My name is William Wiggum, spelled W-I-L-L-I-A-M-W-H-I-G-H-A-M. -I -I I'm a videographer with the Legal Wizards LLC and a registered notary with the state of Texas. I will serve as the deposition officer for this deposition. The date is March 11th, 2022. Would plaintiff's counsel please introduce themselves and spell your first and last name for the record. Uh, Lupe Pena, L-U-P-E-P-E-N-A, counsel for the plaintiff. And do you have any other persons listening in on this remote deposition from your location? I do not. And would defense counsel please introduce themselves and spell your first and last name for the record? Brian Metcalf for the defendants. First name is Brian, B-R-I-A-N. Last name is Metcalf, M-E-T-C-A-L-F. And do you have any other persons listening in on this remote deposition from your location? No. Okay, objections by the rules? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, and uh, would the witness raise his right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. All right, you may put your hand down and counsel may proceed. Dr. Warden, how are you doing this afternoon? Fine, thank you. My name is Lupe Pena. I know there was a brief introduction on the record there. Um, doctor, have you provided a deposition prior to today? Yes, I have. Okay. And so I won't go into a long spiel on depositions, right? Um, just know anytime you need a break today, Ask me for a break and we'll happily go on break, okay? Yes, sir. If you don't understand one of my questions, ask me to repeat it or rephrase it, and I'll be more than happy to, okay? Yes, sir. All right, doctor. Um, can you give us your full name for the record? George William Morton, MD. <clears throat> okay. And your date of birth, Dr. Warden? 2-14-1940. And what is your current, um, what's your current practice's address? 15455 uh, Dallas Parkway, Suite 600, Addison, Texas, 75001. And that's in the Dallas area? Yes, it is. And what is that practice? What is the name of that practice? Advanced Microsurgery of the Spine. And is that your um, place of practice or do you have a partner? It is mine. I do not have a partner. How long have you worked as advanced microsurgery of the spine? I would estimate about 25 years, but I'm, I'm not real sure about that. I, I just don't have those dates memorized at this moment, at this moment. Okay. And is that a clinical office, or is that just where you office out of? Well, it's where I office out of at the present time. Um, we closed down the clinical office due to the COVID epidemic. Okay.
would you see patients out of that um, 15455 address? No. Where would you see patients? I do not currently see patients. I stopped seeing patients in June of 2020. Why is that? Because of the COVID epidemic. Okay. Prior to COVID, where did you see patients? I'm not sure I can remember the street number. It was on Mockingbird Lane, uh, Dallas, Texas. And was that a hospital, a clinic, physician's office? What was it? Well, I I actually, um, that was a physician's office. However, I did also have hospital privileges at uh, Pine Creek Hospital. Um, Okay. Up till about that time, Pine Creek Hospital also closed. And I think it closed about maybe four months before I quit seeing patients. Okay. Have you formally retired or are you just holding off? I have not formally retired. I still... My license is still current. I still do my continuing education courses and I maintain my licenses uh, and my certifications. But you haven't actually seen a patient since June 2020, correct? That's, I believe that's correct. In that physician's office on Mockingburn Lane, do you recall the name of it? Well, it was still advanced microsurgery of the spine. Um, It was in a high-rise building, and there were other medical officers and some non-medical officers as well in it. Uh, But I don't remember the name of the company that owned it or whatever they called it. They had, they had. I think it even changed hands, and it may have changed names as well. (laughs) Okay. In which hospital did you have privileges out of? Well, most recently it was the Pine Creek Hospital that, as I told you, that had closed. But I had previously had numerous other hospital privileges within the Dallas community. All righty. So prior to June 2020, about how many patients were you seeing a week with uh, advanced micro surgery of the spine? Well, it varied. I would say 20 would be a reasonable estimate. Started tapering off as soon as the pandemic hit. So, I, I mean, right. it was, uh, I guess by that time, the pandemic had been going on for since maybe March of 2019 or something like that. So we, but we saw a diminished number of patients, um, you know, for a variety of reasons, mostly the fact that most patients didn't want to come in. And we tried to run the practice with a um, virtual uh, examination and so forth. And I did not find that to be a practical uh, solution or um, satisfactory to either myself or the patients. And and so, uh, although I did experiment with it and tried to see, and did see some patients for several months, better part of a year, but um, eventually it, it just was a futile effort. Orthopedics does not lend itself well to virtual uh, evaluations. The best thing about virtual examinations in my practice was it did give me an opportunity to check up on patients that were post-op or patients that were, um, you know, long-term patients that were being managed for some arthritic condition or something of that nature. But uh, it was not at all satisfactory to to try to assess or, or evaluate a new patient. And why do you think that is? Why why wasn't it sufficient to assess or evaluate new patients? Well, I think there's a variety.